Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Um, so, it is day 100 of my uh, JP Monster Strike account. And uh, yeah, 100 days is kind of a, uh, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, like, everything accomplished up to this point is kind of special. And it's kind of a good marker to see how you're doing uh, in the progress. And um, I remember when, uh, you know, getting Izanami or Kushinana before day 100 was like a really big accomplishment. And um, that's not the case anymore. As you can see, mine is uh, Max Luck here. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's go through and then see how I'm doing. Uh, so we'll go to my grade sheet. I am rank 228, and uh, yes, day 100 of the login. And um, I have a couple of uh, Waka Waka Mean left over. That's because I don't have any good able berries to use them on. And then uh, for the monsters, uh, these are my top 10. And I'm happy to say that there's a bunch of uh, Max Lux in there. Uh, first up here is uh, Ibaraki Dolji. She's got the Genius S++. I've been using her everywhere to help me get my rank up. And I think that's been very useful for me to get my rank uh, this high, this quickly. Um, I've had a lot of good luck in a lot of ways, I think. Um, I got the S++ Genius Ableberry very quickly. Um, I got some lucky uh, Hatcher rolls, which I'll show you later. And then I think I started at a good time as well. Um, so I was able to get uh, like Hendrix in here, he's an amazing max luck. And then um, Nadeko, she's another amazing max luck. I got them very early in the game, so they um, really sped up my progress. Uh, Susano, I also got very early, and I'm still using him actually. Uh, he, um, yeah, very good for farming easy quests just because of his really strong uh, bump combo. And then uh, Hikari, she was my uh, reset marathon monster. And uh, yes, I did the reset marathon for like half a day at least. Um, and I got all four stars, and I was wondering, are there even any five stars in here? Uh, but finally I got her, and I was like, okay, she's awesome, no more reset marathon for me. So I went with her, and uh, yeah, she's been really great. Been using her in lots and lots of uh, impossible quests, uh, because her flight, um, no gravity barrier, is very versatile. Uh, and then, um, kind of the character that I've been using most recently uh, has been Meliodas Ascension. And uh, yeah, he's very strong. And I did say this in another video, but I didn't realize it until recently, uh, that he has the same attack power as a Striker, and then he also has a Counter Slayer, so... He's basically a Mind Warp version of Striker Transcendent, which is crazy. And then uh, here is Sanctuary Dragon. I am slowly working on getting him off of my top 10 list, <laughs> but very thankful to have him. And then uh, this is maybe the Hatcher monster I've been using the second most uh, recently, after Meliodas. And uh, Kaoru Shinji, they are crazy and kind of broken. Uh, they are a Pierce uh, with a very strong bump combo. Uh, that super spread and then the uh, lock on one way laser. Uh, for a long, long time in Monster Strike, uh, Pierce monsters did not have good bump combos. Uh, but this one does. And then uh, they also have the uh, barrier, so they can block uh, certain attacks uh, every stage, which is also crazy. And then um, next up is Ducky, and she's also been amazing. Uh, very good timing to pull her as well. I got her the month before she got her transcendent form, so <laughs> I got to enjoy her, um, you know, regular form, and then got the transcendent form soon after. And she's pretty darn good. And then uh, finally, this is maybe the max luck that I've been using the most lately, and that's Asuna and Kirito. Uh, yeah, they've been very helpful. I've been using them in uh, normal quests, dragon gem quests, and uh, divine shara quests. Uh, but also like a Tsukuyomi Zero, and then if I ever feel like it, um, when I start to play Yomi, I'll probably use them. Uh, but by color, here's what I've been using. And uh, red, for a long time, was my weakest element. Um, as you can see, there are not a lot of uh, Hatcher monsters in here. Uh, but I recently pulled in a Red Stars, and I've been using them a lot. And then here is Water. Uh, maybe the last three characters, those are ones that I got pretty early on, um, but I'm hoping to get them off of the uh, top 10 list. And then here is Wood, and Wood I feel pretty good about. All of these characters I legitimately like and then use a lot. Um, actually though, Jediah I haven't used lately. I just got him early in the beginning, so um, yeah, maybe I'll get him off the top 10 list someday. <laughs> 
And here is Light. Pretty happy about this list too, although I would like to get uh, Hikari Ascension off of there. And then uh, Karuma. You might be wondering why Karuma is on here. I used him to farm the, uh, the Dengeki uh, collaboration. Uh, he had the Null Gravity Barrier passive in him and then a strong homing shot. Um, so he was really good for that uh, four-star quest. And then uh, finally here is Dark. And then Anko, I also used her for that same Dengeki quest. So that's why she has a lot of uh, uses. Okay, so that is that. And then uh, Max Lux, I have 18. I'm very close to 20, which is kind of a, um, kind of a nice threshold. Um, for the moment, I'm aiming for 30, so I can get Hakua, and then after that, I'll aim for 65, uh, so that I can unlock all of the abilities. Uh, yeah, there they are. Okay, most hits is with uh, Nirvana, and I think that was in the uh, Meduemu um, quest, and I made a video about that. You can have a look at that if you like. And then highest damage was from Bon in uh, Magmel. Uh, I think I used a strike shot and then got a pinch shot in between... Uh, Gigamantis and the boss, so that's where all that damage came from. And I really, really like these two characters, so I hope they're never replaced. <laughs> okay, and then here is the uh, play stats. Uh, the thing that I care about the most is the impossible attempt and clear ratio. And um, let's see, 691 attempts, 408 clears. That's well over 50%, which is what I'm aiming for, so I'm happy with that. And uh, let's see, I cleared the Tower of Champions, I cleared the, um, what is it called, the Sealed Watchtower once. So yeah, pretty happy about that too. Okay, so now let's move over to my box. And um, actually, I guess uh, the Spirit Crest, this is an easy way to look at my uh, box here. Um, so I have a three Max Lux for, wa uh, for Fire. <laughs> Um, this one I kind of regret making. This is uh, Misato from the Evangelion uh, collaboration. Uh, actually, no, I don't regret making her because, you know, the character's awesome. Uh, the abilities of her are so-so, so I don't think I've actually ever used her. Uh, I'll tell you why later I kind of regret making her. Uh, but here is uh, Mikumo. I um, recently finished her and I gave her the Hero Scroll. Uh, because she's one of my favorite characters. And then uh, Izanami, I uh, first Impossible Max Luck. I worked on her first, so she's very good. I'm still trying to get the clear of Izanami Kai, uh, so I can get her a, uh, an Ableberry. And then um, other characters that I'm working on, I'm working on uh, Fukahide, he's on uh, 38, should be good. Ashura's at 33. Uh, Avalon's at 25, that's pretty good I would say for a colossal monster. Uh, 100 days in. <laughs> uh, but I'm very used to her quest. Uh, back when I was playing the English version, I farmed her pretty hard. Um, and I got her up to like maybe luck 30. Um, so yeah, pretty used to her quest. And then as for Hatcher Monsters, my red box is looking pretty good because I pulled the uh, red stars. And then lately, my favorite character has been Alexandrite Evolution. And she is insane, uh, her stats. Um, Pierce, uh, attack well over 30,000, speed well over 400. Uh, she's got dash, so that's like an extra 100 speed or something. She's got critical, and then a strong bump combo, uh, which again, uh, bump combo, strong bump combo on a Pierce monster is pretty crazy. And then a strike shot, which is also insane. Uh, it's a speed and power up, and then it, um, you know, uh, raises the uh, weakness of the boss's weak point. Um, and then her count on her strike shot is 24, which I think is more uh, than any previous uh, strike shot that does the same uh, weak point uh, effect. Um, so her multiplier is much higher. So yeah, lots and lots of damage. And uh, yeah, I was uh, watching some uh, JP players talk about her and they were saying that she's broken. And uh, you could take away like any of these abilities and she would still be great. Um, like the high count uh, strike shot, or the critical luck skill, or dash, or whatever. <laughs> She's just really good. And then um, also in red, that's about it for there. Uh, for water, I have uh, four max lux. 
Uh, just finished uh, Pito the other day, and I used her in Avalon this morning, and she was just fine. I got a whole bunch of clears uh, there. Uh, let's see. And then here is uh, Koyuki, Ascension. I uh, recently finished her max look as well. She might be my favorite water monster, uh, which is kind of unusual because she is a uh, drop monster. Uh, Yamato Takeru. I, I put him on hiatus for a while because I was in a slump. Like two days in a row, I played him a bunch and just couldn't get any clears, so I put him away. Uh, but I uh, started playing him again, and I started getting clears again, so back to work on his uh, max luck. And then I have the uh, the Meteor sub-bump combo for his Kai version, so I'm very happy with that. That Meteor is actually very useful in Avalon. Uh, I saw that, uh, you know, be very helpful uh, this morning. Otherwise... Ah, yes. Uh, this is the reason why I regret making uh, Misato the max luck. Uh, it's because I gave up on making the max luck of uh, Yotose. Uh, they were going on at the same time, and um, I made a conscious decision to make Misato and then not make Yotose, uh, just for my sanity's sake. <laughs> uh, but I think it might have been better to make this one. She's really good. Uh, Pierce with no gravity barrier, no block, and the blast bomb combo. Um, so a really good double null ability, and then good support with the, uh, the blast bomb combo. But I made uh, Koyuki, she's also got the, uh, the pierce with the blast bomb combo and a null block, so I think I'm okay with this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say there. Next up is Wood, I got three max lux here. Uh, most recently, uh, Wataberion, and he's been great. Uh, he's another pierce with a blast bomb combo. Um, so he's a good support character. And then I used him to make the max look of uh, Pitol, so he's already seen some action. Uh, my uh, Kushinada here, she's got the, uh, the poison sub-bump combo, which I think is pretty good for her. And then uh, she has an Ableberry, the, um, I think it's the Style Kin Strength uh, S. Um, so that raises her over the one-punch line in Bishamonten. Um, so she's my max luck for uh, Bishamonten. Pretty happy about that. And then as for Hatcher Monsters... Yeah, they're all very good. <laughs> and then uh, here is Light. I got four Max Lux here. And then um, I placed the uh, Spirit Crest on uh, Asuna and Kirito. And then they have the Healing Wall Master. That's good for uh, Tsukuyomi Zero. Uh, the Dark Slayer, also good for Tsukuyomi Zero. And then uh, Water Slayer. And uh, I've been using them in uh, Koyuki. Uh, they were excellent there, and then I might make a second uh, max look of Koyuki, since they're kind of easy. And then uh, later, I'll probably try to make the max look of uh, Galaxy Serpent, and I'll use Asuna and Kirito again there. Otherwise, um, here's Izanagi Kai. I got the uh, speed-up version of him, and I think he would be a good max look for uh, Hakua. I would like to try him out in there. That's all I have to say about here, I think. And then uh, here is Dark. I got four Max Lux here. And then uh, Hendrickson, he's the one that I put the most effort in. So I gave him the Hero Scroll. Uh, he's got Detox now, but I want to give him a Cutthroat. Uh, that's really good for uh, Eden. And then the Spirit Crest, Healing Wall Master. That's good for, gosh, Daikokuten, uh, Izanagi Zero, a bunch of places. And then he's got the uh, the gravity attack. That's good for Akasha and uh, Eden. And then the uh, Light Slayer, also good for Eden and then uh, Daikokuten. Okay. And then uh, Tsukuyomi, I'm working on her. I did get one clear of uh, Tsukuyomi Kai, but it wasn't the uh, bump combo I want, so I'll get back to work on that. And uh, yeah, that is how that is looking. And then uh, finally, let's look through my box just to see if there's anything that I missed. Mm, got a bunch of Oragons. No, nothing really special to say here. I have uh, two of uh, Rei and then three of uh, Kaoru Shinji, and they've been very helpful. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is a quick look at my box. I think I'm at a, a pretty good pace for uh, 100 days. And oh yeah, one last thing. Let's go here to missions. Let's uh, collect this. Oh 
Okay, so that is some orbs. Uh, probably the next hatcher I'm going to pull is the uh, New Year's hatcher. I'll keep an eye out for the Christmas hatcher, but depending on how the artwork is, uh, that will determine whether I pull that or not. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll look forward to the uh, next 100 days. Thanks for watching. Take care.